Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and Bill's here. That means it's Sunday and it's time for a blind? Nope. Just kidding. Not doing a blind today, oh. but this is kind of a friendly spar? Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of a spar. Which tent are you going into? Hey, mm -hmm. You haven't explained what's going on yet. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Wow, I've really lost it already. Well, we're dressed yep. for camping. We're going camping. It's summertime. The weather's warming up. It's time to get out there in the mountains. Or if you're not in the mountains, it's time to pack a tent. Throw up. Th not throw up. You're going to, like, build a fire. You're going to build your camp. If you can build a fire. Some I mean, places you can't. Oh, if you can't. Because yeah. in Colorado, you can't generally build a fire. But, anyhow... It's camping season. Everybody's going camping and fishing and hiking. And we're going, what, probably a week after this video is coming up. We're going to go camping? Yeah, yeah, we're going camping. So, we were like thinking about this. What would be the best whiskeys to bring camping with you? Well, I came up with the best ones. I came up with some good ones. Okay, we might have both came up with good ones. We yep. did it separately yep. on purpose. Because we wanted to see if we had, A, any that we would pick that would be the same, or any that would be different, or whatever. We both have a different rationale for why we picked the whiskeys that we picked. So, I picked five, Bill picked five, and we're also dressed for camping. Mm -hmm. Except, I guess, camping we're going to do, I'm probably going to have more hunting stuff on. So, and I, so would... I probably should have put on some camo. Then you wouldn't be able to see me, granted. You have some camo. Yeah, but mine's for fishing. It's actually like heat reflective and like yeah. water, like water resistant. So the water rolls off. Anyway, I love to fly fish. And when I'm camping, this is like the shirt I throw on so I don't get sunburned. Anyhow, this is not an ad for Huck or Flannel or Old Forester. <laughs> I don't think we actually have, yeah, any, we old, have no, any no Old Forester. Anyhow, we've got five whiskeys each. You can pick your tent. You can be in my tent or you can be in Bill's tent. That sounded kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> well you could pick your tent so at the end of the video leave it in the comments are you team bill tent or team dara tent we want to know everyone's which... going to want to be in dara's tent <laughs> <laughs> awkward awkward well, that was really well, why don't you explain your rationale for choosing your bottles and then i'll explain mine okay so i basically picked bottles let me pull out my phone because i wrote down a list oh i actually for once in my life i wrote down a list so Surprising. I put together a list and I wanted something like things that made me think of camping and, and fires and hanging out by the fires and reasons why I would want to hang up. So I picked a toasted one because toasted no. and s'mores and things like that. So that's your reasoning is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I, and I picked a cheap one. I wanted a cheaper one that you could just like bring to the camp, pass it around, drink it however you want. Then I picked like a smoky peated scotch. Because sometimes when you're by a campfire, like, that just seems, like, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Whether you're smoking a cigar or not. So I needed a peated scotch. It just makes me think of camping. I picked one for smoking a cigar with, specifically. And then I picked a treat, a cheap rye. Because sometimes you might be in the mood to have a mixed cocktail. Like, you might be at the camp and you're like, I don't know, I might make a cocktail. I can tell you, the camps that I go to, I don't make cocktails. Me either. I mean, I'm literally drinking water. I don't even drink alcohol. Yeah. But if I was, like, actually camping with I friends... I don't glamp. I can't. No, camp. I don't glamp either. Oh, I don't <laughs> glamp either. I'm like... One time, I went 10 days in the woods without showering. Oh, I have. Backpack, nothing else, yep. no alcohol, no whiskey, no, no I nothing. Alcohol, but... I did not have alcohol. So, that was kind of my rationale. I just wanted something for every mood that I was in. Not that I would necessarily pack every single one of those bottles, but maybe a couple of them at a time. Okay. So that was so, my rationale. What's yours? So my rationale is I wanted whiskeys that you can find nearly everywhere. They're, they're replaceable. If you take it to camp with you and break the bottle, oh well, it, you're not out a ton of money. You can, you can get a new one. Um, things that you don't mind pouring in a flask so you can take back in the backcountry with you. So that's kind of mine. It's more approachable... Easy to find, not crazy expensive, break in the bank. I think the most expensive I have might be like 50-ish dollars. Other than that, they're, they're cheaper. I think mine are pretty similar too. I think I have one that might couple, be about 70-ish. Yeah. But not, most of mine you can find. Yep, yep. And most of them I could throw in a flask. I would actually throw them in a flask. Yep. 
So I'm drinking one of mine now. I'm not uh, going to say what it is. I'm not drinking one of mine. I'm drinking 1792 bottle and bond because I felt like some. <laughs> haven't haven't had it in a while and I felt like drinking some. So. All right. So let's dive in. We're going to just go one at a time. Yep. Yep. I'll do one. You do one. Yeah. Okay. So first up. Wow, it's cold in here. I need a fire now. I need a fire. Like, like if only we could like have some fire flames coming up on here. Should I wanted, put red, should have put red lights on back there. Yeah, Maybe. and toasted marshmallows. <laughs> I wanted to do that. He was like, you do not need to toast marshmallows during a live stream. No. Or a, a video. Yeah. I wanted to. Okay, so my first up. So I'm going to bring out mine. My first one is Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Because, one, it's a cheap bottle. You can find it everywhere. It's a cheap bottle. It's about 20 bucks. And it's great in a cocktail. So if you want to have a mixer, you want to make a mixed drink, you want to make a Sazerac, anything like that. Yes, I do realize our dryer just went off. And you, if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. I need clothes. <laughs> yeah, so that just happened. You guys might not have been able to hear it. But anyhow, the dryer just went off. So Wild Turkey 101 Rye. It makes a great cocktail. It's a great mixer. So you can mix it. You could have a whiskey ginger by the campfire. If you wanted a, a mixed drink while you're fishing by the river, whatever you're doing, this is a great one. If you accidentally drop this on a rock, like God forbid, I would probably do that. Actually, that would definitely happen to me. Don't bottle flip it. I'm not going to worry about it. Don't bottle flip it. You'll drop it on a rock. And if I do, it breaks. Yeah. I only lost twenty dollars. I didn't lose fifty or seventy. So I think this is a good one. Uh, yeah, that's why I picked this one. What's, All right. your, what's your first one? So my first one, so it, it's a little different. I, I kind of got a random order. Red Breast 12 Year. So I got a little mixture of some things, but Red Breast 12 Year, this kind of came to me last year. I have this one and the next bottle I'll bring up that when I was out hunting, my buddy brought this bottle. I brought another bottle and we ended up killing half of it. Uh, we were pouring flasks of it, taking up in the mountains with us and we camped at night. We drank some whiskey. So... It's a great whiskey. It's low proof to where you can drink a decent amount of this around a fire and not get completely hammered. So, Red Breast 12 Year. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. I would have done cash strength, but it's cash strength's harder to find. This one's a lot easier to find, and it's not going to get you drunk. Um, so, yeah, Red Breast 12 Year is my, my kind of one of my go tos for, for a camping whiskey. It is a good one. Oh, I don't think one. you're wrong. Yep. I don't think you're No wrong. one's wrong. Everyone's right. Just Don't your tell own me opinion. I'm wrong. I would never tell you you're wrong. So yeah, that's that's my first Who one. Red Breast 12. It's delicious whiskey. Um, you mm. can't go wrong with it. Oh and my gosh. Put it in a flask and have some fun. I can't wait to tell you guys about the one I'm drinking right now, but I'll get there. It's good. I don't good. Even know what you're drinking. It's good. Okay, I'm moving on to number two, which is the only bottle. Can don't we... don't say okay, it. Okay, I won't say you it. You just ruined it. I didn't say it. No, I didn't say anything. You didn't hear what I said. It, you just ruined no, it. No, I said only bottle. Yeah. How are they going to know what I'm talking about? Just go. Okay. So, <laughs> I have OGD114. I love this. This is freaking delicious. It's cheap. It's got a good amount of proof to it. It's got a lot of good flavors, cinnamons, and oh, it's just spicy and good and warm. So, if you're going to cool or night out there, this is just a good bourbon. It's just good Classic cheap bourbon. It's like under 30 bucks. Under 30 bucks. It's delicious. I love this one. And I think this is just a must have on a camping trip. I think it would go good with the s'mores anyhow. I don't know. I never tried it. But that's why I'm I picked sure this one. I love OGD 114. I'm down with the OGD. Yeah, you know me. Down with the OGD. Yeah, you know me. You see what I have to put up with? This is a terrible rap. <laughs> okay, that was my number two. OGD. Yeah, you know me. Okay, putting this one down. <laughs> okay, my number two. What? So this is the other <laughs> one. That, this is the one I brought up, and I got to have that smoke, that, that Arbeg 10. Did it, I did grab Arbeg 10. Yeah, <laughs> Arbeg 10. Ooh, um, good all. You can't go wrong with an Arbeg 10. It's it's smoky. It's sweet. It's great around a campfire. And this is another one that me and my buddy killed a half a bottle of this last year up, up hunting. Um, that... It's just a perfect, sweet, smoky thing around a campfire. Like you said, just you want to sit around a campfire, just drink some whiskey. Again, it's not a high proofer. Easily repl replaceable. You can find it at nearly any liquor store. It's a standard offering from them. And it's just, it's a great one to have around a campfire. It is really good. Yeah. Um, I agree. It's just our big 10. That's all I can say. 
Arbeck all I can say. Arbeck Arbeck. all too. <laughs> so yeah, that's my number two. Mm. I gotta sniff this again. Okay, I'm gonna bring up what I'm drinking right now. And honestly, I just have to kick myself when I bring this one up because I can't tell you how many times that I've said, I don't like Woodford Reserve. I don't well, like it. Well, you I just gave away what it was well, before you even brought it up. Well, I haven't told you what it is. But I will say this. I'm, I'm bringing, I'm going to bring it up right now. Okay. I'm drinking Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. I have said so many times, I don't really like Woodford Reserve. It's fine. It's okay. But I have now picked Woodford Reserve Double Oaked in two high-powered toasted toss-ups. Yep. Spoiler alert. I mean, we can say say what it beat out because uh, this video is coming out after the... Yeah. So... Yeah. I mean, it beat out Michter's Toasted for me in a blind. Yep. And it's really good. And I think you need a toasted whiskey with you when you're camping. I mean, this one is like a it good does low proof. It tastes and smell like molasses. Yeah, and, it does. And s'mores and chocolate and butterscotch. It's just so sweet, but it's got a great finish. It has a great amount of oakiness to it that's not mm -hmm. over oaked. It's just... Oh, it's so nice. It's very, very sweet on the nose. Like candied s'mores, mm, chocolate. It really does. Oh, I just like went like leaning and I was through my glass. Anyhow, this keeps finishing really high for me in blinds. I never thought I'd put this out here for this, but I did. Yep. And I, I just wanted a toasted whiskey and it's good. This yeah, is a I good mean, one. I think that one, 50-ish dollars. I think this is a regular one, not a store pick. I think store picks might cost a little bit more. But, but you can find them in most Oh, yeah, places. you can find them everywhere. So that's another thing. Yep. You could actually find you can this find one. It it's good. It's delicious. Give it a try. And it's a low proof. You're not going to get shiz 94.4. Yeah. What... 90.4. 90. Is it 90.4? Yeah. yeah 90.4. 90. Yeah. It's a low proof. I knew the point four part. So it's a good low proof, but sweet, enjoyable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it. That yep. was my third one. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. All right. My number three. Boom! Yeah! 101. I love you. The Wild Turkey Bourbon 101, not the rye. But I love that one too. It's so good. It's so good. It's and one of my goats. You can find them everywhere. It's 20 to 25 bucks. You break a bottle, oh well. You can stop at a gas station or a liquor store in a small town and pick up another bottle more than likely. In any size that you want. Eh, maybe not From any size. From a little size, tiny yeah. pie to a little medium it's, and a big and a big and a bigger. It's just got that perfect, just that cinnamon and just oak and it's it's so good it's like, so good if you know you know on wild turkey 101 and i think most people in the whiskey community know when it comes to this it's it's not your it's not your wild turkey you drank when in college <laughs> it's, no it's, it's good just, it's a good cheap bottle that's uh great to take camping and i would fill my flask with this any day when i'm out there me too yep. i agree i don't disagree with mm -hmm. you there so that's it's, another it's good pick good what's my next one Oh, oh yeah. This is a good one. Okay, so my next one is Smoke Wagon, uncut, unfiltered. Yes, I would bring this to a camp, to a campfire, going camping because this is so freaking good with a cigar. Like so good with a cigar. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong. Like every batch I've had so far is good with a cigar. Tastes great. And sometimes when you're at a campfire, you're just like hanging out, kicking back. You're out in the outdoors, so who cares? If you want to light a cigar, you can light a cigar. And that's what a lot of people will do, is light a cigar when they're around a campfire. This is just relaxing, or a bonfire, or even a fire pit in your backyard. Mm -hmm. It's great. This is what I highly recommend for it. It has all of those good caramel and cinnamon and oak and good spice it's amount. Got that pepper. Peppery, yeah, it's peppery, tobacco -y even. Yep. It's got a little tobacco that comes through, a little leatheriness that comes through that really goes perfectly with a cigar. So, yeah, and we, we love our smoke wagon. I mean, we just bought another bottle to replace this one because this one's getting close to empty. Yeah, because so we keep I think, smoking cigars. Oh, uh, 143, 147, something. This is the new one we just got. This we is 134. Patch 129 is good. The new one we have, we have an open, it's like 143, 147. I, I have know, no idea. It's one of those. But it's good. Yep. It's delicious. And I would recommend this if you haven't tried it with a cigar, if you can find this where you are. That's the only problem with that one is that one, is some people can't find it allocated. and it can be allocated. I know they do sell it online, ships to some states, not all of them. So yeah. it, um, it can be a harder one to find. But it is good. So 
There's that. Smoke wagon. Uncut. Unfiltered. Bam, 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 bam. I don't know. I'm gonna smoke my Jeez. smoke wagon. Wow. Do you think it's in my head that I think it's good with a cigar? Or because it's called smoke wagon? <sighs> She's smoke. crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> he loves me. All right. Well, she kind of blew it away earlier. My number four is the OGD 114. OGD, so, yeah, you know me. As she said, it's got that cinnamon. It also, ha it, being that uh, Jim Beam product, it's got that peanut flavor. Light um, peanut. It's it, stepping up in proof here. So you're sitting at the campfire and you want to start getting a little drunk, you can break this out. Um, another one, if you this can be hard to find in some places. Another one to replace this, it's a little more pricey. Um, but can be easier to find um, is a Knob Creek single barrel. Mm -hmm. um, they're 120 about 120 proof. proof. Uh, you can't go wrong with those either. So if you can't find one of these, a Knob Creek single barrel is, is another great one to go to. But Super good. They'll be similar profiles, similar proofs, off by six. But it, it's just one that you want to start start having some fun, getting drunk around that campfire. Go with some OG. Or getting warmer. Nah. We are not responsible. Drink responsibly. Yeah, get drunk around the campfire. <laughs> drink responsibly of course drink responsibly but drink around the campfire responsibly and get drunk so now it's time for my last one yep. are we really all ready to the we're, last we're one we're on the last one aww dag nabbit now I just want to go camping okay so the last one I said I have a peated scotch boy do I ever one of my favorites of all time Port Charlotte 10 year oh this is so good I had to wait to I want to I just wanted to try this. I haven't had it in a while, and it's so good. Mm. Oh, that's going to go well with that double oak. Mm. It doesn't go well at all. It's so good. Perfect balance. No, did you? Oh, just do it. <laughs> Perfect balance of peat and sweet. Oh, it's very sweet. Oh, but I love the peat the spice, the brininess, the perfect amount of just flavor and citrusy and honey and springtime it just makes me think of camping in a glass it's camp in a glass i love it it's a good proof too i think this one's also about 90 proof. 50 or 100, it's proof. 100 proof it is a little more proof which is great because if you're getting a little cold and i also Drunk think around the campfire <laughs> i think this also would go great with a cigar i haven't tried it oh, with a God, cigar yes. i think this would be it incredible does. just like that so. our big 10 that's why I picked Port Charlotte Ten Year. It's one of my favorites. It's not ex super expensive. It's about fifty to sixty. Uh, I think that one's sixty-ish, sixty, sixty-five, something like that. Somewhere around that yeah. price range. You can find it pretty much everywhere. Mm, yeah, for the most part. Would you say this is a standard Brook Lottie? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Or the classic Lottie. The classic Lottie, you'll probably find more than that, but, but this you're still one, gonna find that one. This a lot. one is so dang good. Yep. So good. So I like this one. This is why I picked it, and I love you. Mm. No, I have not been drinking and recording other videos. Never. Mm -hmm. Not me. I want to see what this tastes like, though. It smells like extra sweet. Yeah. I don't know. That's a little weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Oh, well. Oh, it's like you could taste the butterscotch coming through from the double oaked, like in the back end of it, but the rest is like peated. Totally. Yeah. Anyway, it's... The regular Port Charlotte's good. The regular Dove, yeah. Woodford Double Oak is good. Okay, what's your last All one? All right, my last one. Blue Note Juke Joint, uncut, unfiltered. Mm, um, I love that one. It's it's just such a great. It, th these, this is a, uh, I think this is a two barrel blend that I had bought. That um, they just are packed full of cinnamon. I mean, this one's 117 proof. I think the other one, what's the other one? We have 121? 23. 123, something 123, like that. 23, yep. They're higher proof. Again, getting drunk around the campfire. It's This is just a cinnamon bomb. And loaded with flavor. Like, it's and not just cinnamon. It's, it's a so 40 good. $45 bottle. Eps. Throw it in a flask. You break the bottle. Yeah, you're out 40 bucks, but you can find a new one. Um, yeah. They're, at least in Colorado, they're everywhere. Liquor stores have so many picks of these um, that you, you just can find them. And we love them. I, yep. I have tried multiple Blue Note juke joints so far now. They're all really, mm -hmm. really good. I mean, honestly, this is a bottle that if you have not picked up, Buy you're going to want to pick up. Yep. Like, this is the bottle that I feel like the whiskey community cannot live without. 
You have to try it. If you like whiskey, you need to try this. Yeah, it's so good. There's so much of everything that everybody likes in this with the vanillas. The sweet, but also the spicy and the oak, light oak. This, like, it's just everything. It it's cherry. A, it hits well above that $40 price point. Just like Wild oh, Turkey 101 hits yeah. above its $20 price point. I mean, point. I'd pay $40 to $50 for Wild Turkey 101. I I'd probably pay, pay <laughs> I'd probably pay. I'd probably pay $80 for this, honestly. Yeah, I'd, I'd go to $60 on that one. Maybe. But. Maybe. Anyhow. Yeah, that, so that's my number five. So those are our camping whiskeys. That's what we decided to pick. What are you guys taking, oh, Cameron? No, 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 no. Oh, we have oh, one bonus. Wait. There's a bonus one. There's a bonus one. If if you know me from the videos and, and what she talks about, you can't go without the Rebel Root Beer. Rebel Root Beer. <laughs> so Rebel Root Beer. It's it's so sweet. It's root beer. It's good and yeah. It kind of makes it it's, makes it's me. It's a fifteen dollar bottle. Yeah. It's good and sweet. Yeah. It does make me think of. So my dad, when he likes to go camping, he likes to drink. Uh, butterscotch schnapps mm, yeah i can see butter that. schnapps or whatever you call that around the campfire like they just pass it around or moonshine well where moonshine i'm from too. they drink moonshine so either that so rubber root beer is a good one and it's not going to get you super lit no it's 70 70 proof yeah yeah it's good if you it's like sweet root beer, go if for you want to finish your night off with something sweet next to something sweet mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you talking about you're in your own tent Oh. I have my own tent. Okay, well, who's joining my tent? <laughs> and who's joining Bill's tent? The question is ours. The answer is yours. More budget-friendly? Not so budget-friendly? Mine isn't that bad. <laughs> Some somewhat allocated mine you can find everywhere. Come on. He's trying to make a plea for him. Mm -hmm. You got to pick me. Team Dara. I'm Team Bill, though. Mm -hmm. I am. <laughs> Okay, anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments what you would take camping. We want to know because we need some ideas. We're going camping all summer long. We've got a lot of plans. We've got hunting trips coming up. we got all the things coming up. So let us know in the comments. And we will see you guys again another day, another Sunday, another, probably. Another Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Sunday any Monday. Any day of the week. Any day of the any week. Any day that ends in a Y. Those days are average drinker days. Yep. Anyhow, thank you guys so much. I'm Daryl, that's Bill, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>